everyone, it's Samantha, and today I'm going to make a super easy recipe. It's just Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers. I'm going to use some roast beef that I just got at the deli section. This is Boar's Head Roast Beef. It's just our favorite brand, and you can just get it cut at your local deli, whatever roast beef you want. I've also got some provolone cheese, and again, you can use whatever cheese you want. I've got two peppers, and then also some cracked black pepper. So you're going to want to have one pepper per person for this meal. And probably children would only need about half of a pepper, but for my husband and I, we each eat two halves. So that's one pepper per adult. And so I'm just gonna cut these straight in half. And I'm going to take out all of the insides. So be very careful if you're using a big knife like me. I realized halfway in, I probably should have grabbed a smaller knife to take out all the little pieces in between. But I just pulled out some with my hands. I used the knife to get out the other parts. You want to make sure you take all the seeds out and get these nice and clean on the inside because we're going to stuff them with that roast beef. Now you can jazz this recipe up quite a bit. For this video I kept it super simple but I've also sauteed onions and mushrooms and stuck them in with the roast beef and cheese inside the peppers but it really just depends on your own taste. So for this one, I'm just keeping it totally plain. It's just gonna be the roast beef and the cheese inside the peppers. And I ended up sauteing some mushrooms on the side to have with my peppers, because I really like sauteed mushrooms with mine. But you can put anything you want inside these peppers to go along with your steak and cheese. So also, I forgot to mention, I have about a half of a pound of the roast beef here, so that ends up being about a quarter of a pound of roast beef per person, and that's enough for two peppers. So I just wanted to let you guys know about how much roast beef that you'll need. So I'm gonna just clean these peppers up, speed this up a minute, and then we'll move on to the next step. So I've got my peppers all lined up here in a casserole dish. You can use whatever kind of dish you have. You just want it to have pretty deep sides because I'm going to be covering this with foil at the end. So for my pieces, I like to have provolone cheese. My husband does not like cheese with his, so his are just gonna be plain old steak. And I just put a piece of the provolone cheese in each one of these. And like I said, you can use whatever cheese you prefer. I just happen to really like provolone. So I stick that in there. I just kind of break them in half so that they fit nicely inside the peppers. And then I'm going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper in all of these just to give it a little bit of flavor. We both really like cracked black pepper, so you can leave this out if you don't really like that much pepper. I found that the roast beef is salty enough on its own, so I do not need to add salt for this, but it really depends on what roast beef you're using, whether or not you're gonna need to add some salt. You can also add garlic or onion powder just to add some extra flavoring. But like I said, I'm keeping this one super duper simple. I'm gonna divide all this roast beef out between the four peppers, and that means each of us is gonna get about a quarter of a pound of the roast beef or about an eighth of a pound per pepper. And I'm just eyeballing this. At the deli counter, I ask for them to do the shaved slices. So it's really just kind of falling apart. It's not really in like slices, like sandwich slices. You could also do thin slice if you want. But I really like this texture of it shaved. It's super duper thin and it just kind of falls apart and it's super tender. And once I got these all stuffed in here, Gave my hands a quick wash and then I added some more cracked black pepper on top. And I wanted mine super cheesy this time so I topped each one of mine with an additional slice of cheese. And I tried to position the top cheese in a way that it would not be getting the cheese on my husband's peppers because I didn't want his to get all cheesy. He wouldn't like that very much since he doesn't really like this kind of cheese. So this is what they look like. They're going to go into the oven on 350 degrees like this and I'm just going to cover them with foil. It's just going to be a loose cover and these are two pieces of foil I was going to use for something else and so I'm just using them. I had folded them up. I never ended up using them. I just saved them and so it's just kind of a loose cover on here and I stick them in the oven for a total of about 35 to 40 minutes. The last 10 minutes or so, I take the foil off and let them brown up a little bit on the edges. And when I'm done, I'm left with peppers that are cooked, but they are still crispy. So you still get a crunch from the peppers. If you want the peppers to be softer, definitely put them in the oven a lot longer. But I really like them to just be tender crisp. So this is what they look like. I'm just gonna have mine with some sauteed mushrooms and my husband's gonna have his with a huge serving of roasted broccoli and carrots. 
Being heavily pregnant, just the two peppers and the little bit of mushrooms is going to be plenty of food for me. I just cannot eat as much this late in my pregnancy or else I'd probably have a huge old plate of vegetables as well. So here is what mine look like and then here is what my husband's plate looks like. They are just such an easy thing to make. You just pop them in the oven. I absolutely love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you'll give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if you give it a try. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.